Volcanoes are fairly dramatic structures on Earth, but how do they occur on moons and planets smaller than Earth? Well, volcanoes on Earth are created by hot magma forcing its way up to the surface through weak points in the crust. The process is driven by a hot inner core that is yet to cool. The question arises that volcanoes happen on the planets Venus and Mars and the moon Io. These asteroid bodies are smaller than the Earth and so would tend to lose their heat from the inner core faster than the Earth. So what's driving them to produce volcanoes, including the massive Olympus Mons on Mars, which is believed to be the largest volcano in our solar system, being three times higher than Mount Everest, would cover about the same area as the entirety of Spain? Well, in a case like uh, Mars, it looks like Olympus Mons may be the last hurrah, as it possibly been four million years or more since the last volcanic eruption on Mars, and it may no longer have enough heat in its core to breach the surface. The volcanoes that are there likely remain there for millions and millions of more years due to the relatively slow weathering process on Mars, but we may not see any new ones ever appear. Now Venus, being larger than Mars, has still got its hot inner core. It has over a thousand volcanoes scattered about the surface, but due to its thick atmosphere, direct observations of what's actually going on on the surface is almost impossible. What is known is that very few impact craters on the surface of Venus, implying that some kind of surface action, like lava flows, must have obliterated them. And the heat readings on Venus have found hot spots on the surface, which indicate that there is active volcanic activity going on there, but we cannot know for certain. So that leaves us with the moon Io. Now when Voyager passed by Io, many scientists were surprised to find out there were actually active volcanic plumes erupting from the surface. Now, Io, being a little smaller than our moon, was originally thought to be volcanically inactive. Io, however, remains active not because it has a hot inner core that is yet to cool like the Earth. Instead, the heat comes from what's called tidal heating. Io is orbiting relatively close to Jupiter, with the large moons of Europa and Ganymede, which orbit at a greater distance than Io. This means that Io is pulled in two directions, by Jupiter and the other moons, to make very significant orbital changes. In this, every four orbits that Io completes, Europa completes two, and Ganymede completes one. This means that on a regular basis, moons are lined up on the same side of Jupiter, dramatically increasing the forces on Io and altering its orbit. And much like the uh, orbit of the moon has around the Earth, this causes tidal effects. Instead of moving water up or down a few metres as it does on Earth, on the surface of Io, the moon moves up and down over 100 metres. That's the actual surface moving up and down generates enormous amount of heat, which is released in maybe up to 400 volcanoes on the surface. All of these are hot volcanoes, but probably the weirdest type of volcano in our solar system, those on Neptune's moon Triton, where again the orbit causes volcanic activity, maybe with a little bit of assistance from the distant sun. This time the volcano is of water and ammonia, calls what's known as a cryovolcano or a cold volcano. They have volcanoes around our solar system.